Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, all creeds and all colors, welcome to Corking Cow Potters Traveling Coronation Circus and Mechanical Menagerie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, tonight, for the first time ever, you will see the biggest, the brightest, the most amazing, the most spectacular, the most grandiose show that has ever been performed here on our beloved Victoria, queen of all the moons, of all the glorious galaxies. Wait, 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 there's more! Tonight, yes, this very night, we will unveil to you a preview of the fantabulous show we will be presenting for our beloved Queen Alexandrina at Her Majesty's Royal Coronation. Now let the show begin. Not bad, not bad, Andor. Whoa. When do we get to see the menagerie? They're not real animals, Kapoor. No? All the animals are mechanical. Some are steam-driven, some are spring-driven, some you crank up, some just sit there and wave their paws. Do you wind up the elephant with his tail? No, the elephant runs on steam. Can he toot steam out of his trunk? He can. Then what about the rhinoceroses? We don't have a rhinoceros. No rhinos? We have an ostrich. And a tiger. Do you have horses? We have ponies. Are they real? They're not alive, Kapoor. Are there bears? Yes, we have bears. Are they real? They're mechanical. Why don't you have any real animals? Animals. Because real circus animals are treated so cruelly. How do you know? They're meant to be in the wild, not being trained to perform tricks for peanuts. Oh, okay. That's very noble of you, Andor. Would you like to put your head in the tiger's mouth, Taru? No, Ruby told me. Keep your head on your shoulders. Where is Ruby? She's returned to Aberdeen, Dundee, the city of lost illusions. Oh. Is it dangerous? Nah, she says they're all just lounging around down there in the old musty catacombs. Oh, I'd like to do with my illusions. Yeah, well, maybe next time, Kapoor. Things weren't quite what I had expected. When I was gathering air samples down in their cozy catacombs, Stop some crazy it! woman started yelling, and suddenly the teeming masses of moaners woke up and tried to form a human wall. I had to use that clunky-looking ray gun, but I must say, it did clear a path. I made it back to the rooftop, my pickup point, and kept zapping the masked moaners as they were trying to climb up there. But these ray guns don't have a lot of zaps. Every shot was weaker than the one before until all I was doing was tickling them. By then, the Gypsy Queen had arrived and hoisted me up out of there. But I was able to grab a mask. I hid it under my coat. I wasn't letting Captain Stokey toss this one overboard. Yeah, oh, phew, I must say. The populace is not as lethargic as I thought. How did they get into such a frenzy? Someone started shouting that I was stealing her air. The next thing I knew, they were blocking the exit. You used the wave disruptor? Mm, I will say. It did clear the way. So it is not that toy you thought it were. At close range, it is quite effective. But tell me, Captain, did you see another Zeppelin above the city? I did. Do you know who it is? It has no markings. Someone is curious why we're here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hmm, I believe I shall nap now. It's been a frightfully long night. Aye, it has. And we have a bit of a voyage before we be safe. In fact, quite a bit of a voyage. I barely heard the captain's words as I fell asleep. Later, I realized what he meant by before we be safe. We never were. Ah, uh, Mr. Coochie, what an unanticipated surprise. I come by to see how you were doing, Whisper. I'm doing just fine, though I wish I could say the same for your red herring. All you gotta do is put it all together. And that is a major task, to assemble a submarine in less than a fortnight. I told you, hire more help. True, true, but skilled craftsmen are not Don't easy Don't jive to... me, man. I got some partners, and they, uh, 
Let's say they don't have my cool calm. Now show me my red herring. Right this way, Mr. Crochet. Nice place you got here. Be a shame if a media struck it. I rather doubt that that will occur. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. I woke to a strange throbbing sound. I thought it was inside my head. And then I remembered I was on a Zeppelin, the Gypsy Queen, flying above Victoria Moon. I sat up. The captain was assembling a strange looking weapon. I noticed he also had a few other weapons laid out within easy reach. What the hell's going on? He looked at me strangely. I remembered I was supposed to be someone else. Uh, excuse me, Captain, of what are we doing? That black zeppelin, they be preparing to attack. Can we outrun them? My motors be no match. Are they within range? Not yet. Our gas is helium, not hydrogen, so we won't explode, will we? No, but direct hits and dune will go. If I may borrow your telescope? What is that strange weapon they have? Which one? It appears to have been designed by Dr. Zarkov for Flash Gordon. That be called an aether oscillator. It'd be effective only at close range. And that other strange weapon, the one mounted within a rather large parabolic reflector? That be called a Tesla Sizzler. It may be focused to a fine beam that'd be quite deadly. And its range? About 200 yards. And its effect? It can cut us to ribbons. And we have nothing to counter that. This be a gypsy zip, not a warship. Are you saying it's hopeless? Aye, if their weapons be charged. Is it the air samples we've taken? Is that what they want? Aye. That and the face. The face? The mask you've taken. I want you to set me back down on the ground. You won't stand a chance down there. Do I stand a chance up here? You hit the ground at this speed, you'll be crippled for sure. Oh, the hell with it. Look, my name's Ruby. If it's this mask they want, they're not getting it. Now set me down. Since you're intent on maiming yourself, my lady, might I suggest something more novel? Please do. See down there? A locomotive be puffing its way up the rise. If we catch it before it reaches the crest, I can lure you down onto one of the cool cars. Cool cars? Oh, oh, cool, what we call coal. Cool be not coal with an A, but O. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. 